totally retro. Sup, how you doing? It's Mr. B's, Mr. Bartender, best bartender in the East Coast. You already know, Jordan Roush. On my right is... SBC Profit, man behind the camera. All right, today we're filming an episode of Sippin' and Shit. Um, Mike is my guest today. Prophet is the guest. Um, our drink that we're gonna be sipping on today is um, a little concoction that I came up with. Um, I asked this man his favorite cocktail. His response was... Well, you said favorite drink. You didn't say cocktail. You just said drink. You want bet? You said drink. You didn't say cocktail. I got the receipts right here. What do you think a drink is? A drink... It, but when you say it like that, though, I'm just thinking the, the alcohol in the drink. I'm not thinking a full-fledged cocktail. You got to be specific with me. Yeah, This isn't... I'm not an alcoholic. But when I asked you your favorite cocktail, you said I don't know. So I was like, maybe if I ask him in a different way, he'll be able to come up with an answer. I mean, I gave you something. I told you to take alcohol. Like, I mean, I didn't ask you what your favorite kind of alcohol was. I asked you your favorite kind of drink. I mean, you still gave me the okay thumbs up, so. Because I'm like, okay. I'm going back to the fact that the last time you said I don't know. So I'm like, okay, he gave me more than I don't know. So I guess I can't complain. He's giving me something to work with. I still think I say cocktail. But anyway, oh, the man said fireball. Yeah, I got that. I got fire in me. I don't know if he has fire in him. So I had to come up with something. Yeah, see, it's it's a challenge for you. Based off some, of that, give you some. Why why do one of my balls break in half? <laughs> Because your balls are always getting busted. Mm. Touche. So I had to come up with something. I came up with something. If it's nasty, it's his fault. <laughs> oh, hello. If it tastes good, it's because I made it. Oh, it's it's not it's not because of my suggestion. Not at all. Not at all. Why would I give you the credit? Hmm. Huh? Surprised we didn't need ice this time. It's because we have these. You don't ever get ice when we have these. Hmm. Um I'm not using a board spout. I'm just gonna do it this way. So yes, we got Fireball today. It's 33% alcohol by volume, which makes it 66 proof. This is whiskey, but it's like cinnamon flavored. And that's why I, I, I mess with it a lot. But it does have a burn to it. So if you're not used to, if you're not used to that, like, you know, you're a couple shots in, it starts to get a little too much for me, for, for me to happen. That was literally, I couldn't, I was at my house. No, you know what I think I messed up at? It, no, it wasn't even Fireball at that point. I drank, I was drinking, I think it was rum. I think it was just pure rum. Thinking it was Fireball because I was that like, drunk on New Year's Eve. That doesn't surprise me. But, um, I'm mean, going to mix this with, um. Shit happens. I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. So, I don't drink that often. Um, but yeah, we're going to mix this with a little lemonade, as you just saw, and grenadine. Sounds like a lady's name from like 1920. What does that taste like? Grenadine? Yeah. It's just, grenadine, it's how you make cherry Cokes and cherry Sprites. Okay, so it's basically cherry. Basically, yeah. Look. I'm not a cherry guy. 
cherry medication. Makes you want to throw up. This is medication now. Yeah, but you know how sometimes it'll be sticky and stuff like that. You try to drink that medicine and I'm like. Yeah, but this grenadine's made to go in and drink, so it's not like sticky and like syrupy. Still gotta get your 15 shakes. Yeah, There's damn, no man, ice in here, don't, so. Don't hit me in the fucking face. <laughs> it's not gonna get no condensation on it. Arms going this way and shit almost hitting me in the nose. I think you'll be okay. Have I hit anyone? I'm pretty close with pretty much everybody. Let's start pushing these chairs a little bit farther. <laughs> Yeah, you really don't have much fireball. Mm -hmm. You don't make it work, no. Is there a problem, sir? I was just trying to make sure you are good. I'm always good. I do this for a living. I don't know if you remember. It looks good too. Hmm. Yeah. ever not liking one of my drinks except for when I got cheated in my verses I still want to know how much Don paid y'all he keeps saying y'all I was cameraman in that you're probably the one that told him Cause you were the only one that saw. What are you told who? What? Perfect. You told him whose was whose. I was clearly standing in front of you the entire time. Yeah, when you went to go get him, you was like, it, it, that, "That that's okay." Cheers. Not bad. Told you. It's Why pretty good. Me? I didn't doubt you. You always doubt me. Why do I doubt you? You were bitching about the grenadine. Well, I don't know. Just I'm not a big cherry guy, so I thought that was just going to be an issue. I didn't think the drink overall was going to be bad. Well, so, all right, Mikey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 22. Um, you met me about, what, two years ago? About now, it's probably been about two years, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we met because we ended up working at the same TGI Fridays, but you were already cool with my best friend Dom, but you didn't really know about me because Dom never really like mentioned us by name. And then, you know, when I first met you, I thought you didn't like me, but that's just your face. Yep, that's just, just my face. It's just how you are with people. Why are you cracking your knuckles? Mm -hmm. Why are you cracking your knuckles? I'm just... <laughs> Calm down, dear big guy. Oh, sun's getting real low. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so, I mean, I, I met you then, and then we kind of became cool. Kind of had, like, a weird stage, because, like, of the fact that, like, I'm not the best with people, like, getting to know people, so it was, like, you were also kind of, like, oh, damn, and, I mean, he can come by, but whatever, but it, it was kind of weird, and then I kind of, I guess, we talked about that and talked about, like, how I am as a person, whatever, and then we just became cool after that, and then when you wanted to start this venture in your life... You know, you, I mean, you always wanted to open a bar order, but when you wanted to really start this brand on YouTube and social media and all that, you know, nobody in the group chat wanted to help. Nobody in the group chat offered to help you except for me. So, and I've been here since the very first video behind the camera, now in front of the camera, and, you know, I edit every single video. So, you know, that's kind of what I do. I, st I do have a job, but hours are sometimes shitty. Like, I'm not even on the schedule this week, so. <laughs> um, so working for this man has pretty much became 
almost like a part-time job. But yeah, I mean, I do music also, so I'm trying to build that career up. You know, I, I, I have only done ever one show, and I was with my best friend. I was We were doing a song together, so I want to start doing my own shows. I want to start really getting myself out there, so I've already have a couple songs in the vault for this year released one working on releasing another one that's going to be kind of like a single for the project so i'm going to start really trying to make music to make sure that i have enough uh material for this project to come out and be as good as it could be um you know i mean i'm a nerd man i'm just uh, when i you know play video games do all that stuff you know watch movies chill i'm just that you know, I've only really gotten into drinking since starting this. Really, wasn't big into drinking. Still not the like biggest. Like I don't go out of my way really to buy alcohol or anything like that, unless it's like I'm hanging out with the guys, hanging out with the friends. Um, but yeah, I just like I said, I just be chilling, and I uh, yeah, man, I got a lot of goals this year, and you know, one thing I would hope you guys take from this video is that. No matter who you are, no matter the person you are, you know, things will always try, whether it's your own mind, whether it's the circumstances that you're going through, whether it's your environment, something will always try to bring you down and stop you from achieving things. You know, I feel I would have been a lot better off in my life if I didn't let certain things when I was younger get to me and, and bring me down. Um, so, you know, that's food for thought. But, you know, I, I'm here, man. I'm just... I'm here with you, man, you know, you know, you had somebody tell you that you needed a DJ Khaled, so <laughs> I'm here, you know, we the best, <laughs> but, um, you know, but, uh, I'm just an awkward guy, you know, I'm not, I'm antisocial, you know, I've been through a lot of my life, a lot of traumas, a lot of shit like that, so, you know, I'm the typical white boy that, you know, you don't want to mess with in school, you know, that, that, <laughs> that, uh, let me not. Let me not. Yeah, it might be a trigger warning for some people. Yeah, let me chill on that. But, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just, that's just me, man. That's, I don't really got much else to say about my life. I mean, I don't do much. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not really looking to be in one right now. I mean, I'm broke. I mean, I know money isn't everything with a relationship, but I feel like if I can't do much for you, then yeah, no, it's just, I don't see the point. And I also, I don't see any point when you have a goal that you're trying to reach and being my age of 23, like, you know, I feel like people around my age were still so caught up in trying to, I guess, follow old people traditions. Like everybody still wants to try to get married young in their twenties, wants to try to have kids settle down, things like that. It's not that I don't necessarily want that, but I feel like when you have something, a dream that not everybody can achieve, not like everybody can just go to college, get a degree for, get into that profession, you know, you want to make sure you're at a stable point where that shit can happen because becoming a family man and you got bills to pay and you only hit you doing shows every once in a while and you're barely dropping music and stuff like that and it's not paying no bills, it makes you, makes you give up on your dreams. So, you know, that's why, you know, it's, I don't want to do that. So, just on my solo dolo type shit. Gang gang <laughs> you know? Um But yeah, so, I just be chilling, man. You know that. I just be chilling. Mm -hmm. When was the first time we drank together? First time we drank together was literally your relaunch party that you did. And I got fucked up that night. <laughs> First ever time I got drunk, and bro, I was fucking. I felt amazing. I, like, I felt on top of the world until I had to go down the steps. Until I had to go to this man's steps to come use the bathroom that's behind the camera. And freaking. I had to use the bathroom twice. Actually, it was like three times, I think, because I drank so much that I just had to use the bathroom consistently. And yeah, every time I almost fell down the steps. And it was funny because I'd go down the first couple okay, but it's like once you get towards the middle or the end, you're kind of confident. Like, man, I ain't that drunk. <laughs> but that, that's when that's when it's over for you. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time. And it was definitely really fun. I mean, you had the bonfire. We had people there, you know. Some people got even more drunk than me. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but that was definitely like I felt 
finally, like, I was kind of being, like, my age. You don't have to drink or do or smoke weed or do drugs or anything like that to be, like, to feel a certain age. But I just felt like because I never, like, had those type of experiences in high school and I didn't own with the college for half a semester, like, it was... I didn't have that chance to kind of socialize like that. So it was really cool. Plus, it got, I got to support you, man. I mean, you know, it wasn't free. You know, we mm-hmm. bros and all, but still had to pay the feet or lose the knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, so that, that was the first time we drank. Um, what kind of, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um. What do people misunderstand about you the most? Oh. <laughs> we just had this uh, this conversation in the car. Um, I think what people misunderstand the most about me is just me in general. I think a lot of people, they see me as very weird, which... Oh, trust me, I'm fucking weird. <laughs> but I feel like everybody has a little bit of weird. Like, you know, like, for instance, Lizzo likes eating apples with mustard. That's fucking weird. Look at your face, Yes weird Mm -mm. that's weird but that's fine that's just what makes you you and i feel like a lot of people they also really give me like i've been told by everybody i got told by my own mother that i'm a dry texter that like she's like yeah having a conversation with you is the worst but that i am more of a talking person even though i'm very antisocial once i get cool with you once i think you know you're a cool person i can trust myself around you whatever like that i can be on the phone with you for hours Mm -hmm. stuff like that this man knows. Sometimes I just wouldn't even be saying shit. We're just being on the phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm a big talking guy, so I feel like a lot of people just misunderstand. They they think they also think I'm like very like, and I guess I maybe kind of show that a little bit. But it, I think like people think I'm a lot more like sad than I am. We're like a kind of a lot more unapproachable. Maybe it's the face I give. Maybe it's the vibe I give. But, like, sometimes people are just like, damn, Mike just seems like he's just in a bad mood. And sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I am, but sometimes I'm just in the, I'm just normal. I'm just, for once, like, feeling all right. Yeah. So I think it's just, I'm just misunderstood as a person in general. There you are. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Yo, honestly... Anywhere in Europe, because females over there, accents. Bro, you ever had a girl talk to you in a British accent, bro? Cuss me out in a British accent. You fucking wanker. Like, bro, I, bro, that'd excite me. I don't know why. I just, I feel like European accents, it's just, it's something about it for me. We, we were one time talking to this, a friend of JT's, his wife or girlfriend, whatever, is actually Irish, and just hearing her talk the whole entire time, bro, I was like, bro. You're lucky you got her. Because <laughs> I might have to shoot my shot. Uh, uh-huh. It's like, nah, let me stop. But, um, yeah, so, like, but if I could really truly say, I'd probably, I don't know, I, honestly, if it's in America, I'd say Montana, because when I went to go visit, bro, I went to Bozeman, and the mountains were just beautiful, and for some reason, it brought me a lot of peace, just looking and staring at those mountains. Maybe because I realized if I just jumped off, it'd be the, <laughs> it'd be the end. No. Um, but yeah, but if it's somewhere else in the world, I think honestly, I'd really just fuck with, like I said, like living like in London. I feel like just living in London would just be amazing. Mm-hmm. Until I get stabbed. <laughs> Why would you get stabbed? Because they don't use guns out there. So I'm going to get, like, somebody going to try to rob me. And I'm like, man, you only got a gun. They just like, stab me. <laughs> There's guns everywhere. Yeah, but they don't mostly use guns in London. They're not known for that. Just because they're not known for it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It's a rarity. Just saying. Uh, What's one thing about making music that when you started making music you didn't expect it to be that way? (sighs) Actually being on flow. Because... When you hear a beat, like, you think it's so simple. And for a lot of people, probably is. But starting out at at 17 years old, you know, I just thought, oh, man, I could just flow in anything. I thought, like, and you just, you're trying to rap, but you're not even really focusing on that. You're focusing on trying to get your words out. You're trying to focus on being able to, your breath control, which I suck at that. Then here we go. <gasps> <laughs> All over the mic and shit. It was terrible back then in high school. Um, 
And also the equipment, like I had a $50 mic. Um, I didn't know anything about mixing. Didn't have anybody that knew anything about mixing. I was, I went from recording on my phone to then recording on that mic and it didn't even help out that much. It was still a lot of distortion. So, I, like I said, it was just really figuring out. So then I stopped making music for almost two years to really just focus on getting a better flow, getting a better understanding of how I wanted to make music. And, you know, I still doubt myself to this day. Sometimes I'll listen to a song and I'm just like, oh man, I didn't sound as good as I wanted it to. <laughs> or I think I messed up on this part. And some people are like, no, it's fine. And maybe it's just because I wanted to be the absolute perfect that it can be, but it's not the case. But, so yeah, that was definitely the hardest. Uh, what are three books you'd recommend? Uh, that's the thing. I don't really read. Uh, I would say if you're just like, okay, so one Fahrenheit 451. If you've never read that, it's a great fucking book. It was made in the 1950s, about basically around this time period. So, and a lot of the things that they predicted in that book were true. It's a story about. The world destroys all books. And it's pretty cool. The Outsiders is another fucking good one. Um, and the, uh, what was it called? Of Mice and Men. One of my most favorite books of all time. And the movie, bro, shit. Shit had me feel, like, it had me feel in many different ways until Lenny died. And I just <laughs> found that funny. Not, listen, listen, hear me out. John Malkovich didn't have to fall over like that. <laughs> he, he was just like, it's just like, bro, your big ass didn't even fall over like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I kind of got dark humor. That's it's. I kind of have dark humor. Definitely have dark humor. If you could have coffee with any historical figure, who would you choose? Wouldn't have coffee. Never drink coffee. I never will. Um, even a high energetic I'm sounding right now, you probably think I do, but no. Um, but if I was to have coffee with any historical figure, that's a tough question. There's a lot of guys from history and women from history I would like to just talk to and just ask them like how things were. I would definitely say, damn. I think I would talk to Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. And I would tell him and show him what's going on in the world today and see his views on it and see if he thinks the world is really better from how he left it because things are even though they got better they i still think got worse in a sense so it would be it would be kind of cool to just hear from somebody who fought that war for so long and see what he thinks of the current day right uh what's a common myth that people have about making music like i said they People think it's, like, really easy. And anybody can really do it, but there's definitely levels to it. Like, there's definitely people that, you know, just see it as a hobby or just see it as fun. And people who do it as, this is their livelihood. So, I think, like, you could definitely hear, like, the the production difference, the lyrical difference. And it doesn't just have to be in hip-hop. It could be in R&B songs. It can be in pop songs. Like, it just, you know, you can tell definitely the difference from somebody who... Either because sometimes even people who have lower quality, you can still hear the hunger. You can still feel that they want to make it. So I think it's definitely the myth is just people thinking how easy it is. It's a lot easier to get known and to get trajectory these days because of the internet, and social media, and apps like TikTok. But it's still you still have to prove your worth. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can just get successful off of meme songs. <laughs> Blue face, baby. I try to fix the eyebrows and I miss. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so what is three movies that you'd recommend? What genre? Don't matter. All right, one action movie. Uh, so I'm gonna do action, comedy, and then horror. So for the action movie. I'm trying to think of one that's just not like in a series because then you'd have to watch them all like you can't just watch like one James Bond film and then just leave it <laughs> like um fuck uh shit a good action movie damn 
now that I'm really thinking about it, it's a, it's a lot of ones that, um, all right, even though it kind of has a, uh, like, a, a prequel or a sequel, I forget, The Raid Redemption, it is a movie that was made, like, in Asia, but it has, like, American subtitles, whatever, it's, and it's a very good action pack, but, like, the shit is crazy when you watch it, um, comedy movie, definitely have to go with something, like, Dumb and Dumber, like, I feel like even now, it still holds up. Not not the sequel, though. That shit was... Or that shit, like, gave me diarrhea when I watched it. <laughs> um, and then for horror movies, I'm a big horror guy. So, if I was to go with a film that wasn't, like, in a series of horror... Sinister. Even though that has a sequel, it's not, like, a long... It's not, like, Mike fucking Halloween that has, like, 12 movies. <laughs> and he's died 17 times. How do you die more times than you have movies? Because he'd be dying like three times a movie, bro. <laughs> like, he dies in the beginning, in the middle, and then finally at the end. Like, they'll shoot him in the chest 20 times, and then he's just there for like 10 minutes, and then gets up. Like, bro, <laughs> don't, don't, don't play with me like that. I'll fuck Michael Myers up. Or would you? Bro, no, they don't go for his knees, bro. He likes to walk, right? See, no, dude, you said he doesn't walk. You said he teleports. I feel like he teleports. But, well, when you see him on camera, he's walking. So, as long as the camera's on me, I know I gotta, like, I can fuck up his knees. That's interesting. Fuck Michael Myers. <laughs> you <a> bitch. <laughs> you sound like a hater. Oh, bro. Halloween Ends was, it was an iffy movie. Iffy. Iffy. Not the ending I would've wanted for the series, but... What if it's not the end? Of course it's not, you know, money grabs and shit. I mean, we got Scream 5 after fucking a decade. Now on the way to Scream 6. How are they going to make a 6? It's coming out now. Oh, um, you're right. That is 6. I haven't seen 5 yet, so I gotta watch it. I don't even think I've seen any of the Scream movies all the way through. You're not bad. Like, all four, Like, that's one thing. I give Wes Craven a lot of credit. Like, he was able to continue with the meta. Like, you know, like, they were very meta. Like, they knew about horror movies. They knew about the rules, the apparent rules in horror movies and shit. Like, it was very... And they followed a lot of tropes and made fun of a lot of shit. So, it's... All four of them were pretty good, but definitely, the, I think the best ones were one and two. Three, it was kind of a little iffy, and then four was just kind of like... It's just, it was basically a movie to make fun of the fact that horror franchises fucking go on for too long. And then here he is going on six. Well, he's dead. <laughs> so it's not him anymore. But still, it's like you would think that in his honor, you'd be like, yeah, enough is enough. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, what you, what kind of plugs you got for them? Wow. Kind plug. Uh, yeah, just follow me. Um, hopefully he puts it in the, in the description. Uh, just follow me in my socials, man. Follow me wherever you can listen to my music. And, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all it. I mean, just hit me up on any of stuff. Y'all want to talk, you know. Oh, I mean, listen to my music or watch my YouTube channels or any of that. Not my YouTube channels, my YouTube channel. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Um, some things I want to say before we go. Uh, please subscribe, like, turn on notifications, watch, comment. I promise you, this is a way you do not want to miss at all. That's why he's on it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know what you'd like for me to do next. Please uh, keep giving me cocktail suggestions. We have some more of those videos coming out. Also, if you think you can mix a better drink than me, let me know. And I'll have you on the show to have a mix-off. I'm still working on the drink menu and I'll be asking people on to create a drink with me in their honor. If you want on the show to have a little cocktail and we can sip and shit like we just did, let me know. Also, if there's any bartender related questions, let me know and I'll go live periodically to answer uh, any of them. Um, and I'd love for y'all to join me on the live. Um, if you know any celebrities that have their own liquor or they have a favorite liquor, let me know and I'll taste it on the show. 
Also, we have this wonderful wheel over here. Mike's favorite game. Uh, we'll periodically be playing a game, and I'd love to have guests on to play. Uh, I'll also be traveling to bars, trying bartenders' best drinks. Um, I'm still working on the logistics of that. I gotta find places that'll let me film. But once I start finding those places, I'll get to going. Um, if there's a bar you'd like me to uh, attempt to go to, let me know. Uh, we'll also have episodes of the day in the life. Um, so if there's anywhere you'd like me to go and see, you know, be interacting. Um, I have some things coming up where I'll be able to film at my day job. Um, if you enjoyed my guest, let me know. Scratch that. doesn't really matter because he's going to be on the show whether he likes it or not. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. I just got some logistics to work out for some of those series, but loving the support, having fun along this journey, growing, got a lot of things in the works. So I can't wait for y'all to see what I got going on. But until then, we out. Up, up, and away, well. Oh, you, 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 you,